every time you make a backend call, for example, I click here, and now it is yellow, I click again, it is now black, it might take a while. For example, we can have a look at the network tab, so if I click now, it is half a second. If I click again, it is, again, pretty much half a second every time. Now it's a little bit faster, but if you want to give the user a real-time feedback, there is the use optimistic hook on React 18. Let's see how it works on a Next.js project. To begin with, this is our component. There's a form which triggers the toggle favorite action that is defined on a separate file. But here, as you notice, we have to wait to give user a feedback. And we're gonna see how you can use the use optimistic hook in three different scenarios. A super simple one like this one with a flag. Then we'll go on a list and we'll see how to optimistically delete an item from a list. And then we'll see a slightly more complicated case that is using an actual reducer to handle multiple optimistic tasks. But let's begin from the super simple scenario. Here all we have is really just a boolean value. And the thing is that we want our UI to not show the real value of its favorite, but instead it has to use an optimistic value which will toggle manually. Let's replace our is favorite here and there. And now right before calling our toggle favorite action, we will manually call optimistic toggle favorite. And here we can say that, for example, we want to set not is favorite because we expect that our API after calling toggle favorite will give this exact result. So by just adding these two simple lines and obviously replacing the value here and there, let's see what happens in the browser. Every time I click, you will see that it will go immediately change state. So I click, I click again, and you see that the feedback for the user is instant, even though the call is still taking its 300 milliseconds. But this was a really, really simple use case, so let's get to the scenario number two. Let's try to remove one of these items and show the result immediately, even before the call completes. Because as you can see now, if I click the button, it takes a while. Again, 800 millisecond, I click again, and again, 500 millisecond. Let's give the feedback faster. If we go on the code, we see a really similar scenario to the previous one. We have a list of tasks and we have a button that triggers an action that is delete task action, which deletes the task in our database, but we don't care about that for now. If we have a look at the code, the situation is pretty much like the previous one. We have a task list and we have an action that is triggered every time the delete button is clicked. So first of all, instead of using the task list here, we want to pass the task array to the use optimistic hook so that we can replace our task object everywhere in our code and actually use the optimistic version. And similarly to the previous situation, we want to call our optimistic handler right before calling the actual action. But what should we pass here? And Copilot suggests as task ID, but here for now it returns an error because number is not assignable to this other function that it says here. And the reason is that useOptimistic accepts a second parameter that is a reducer function or actually a callback that is fired when we decide to call this function. So here we should define a function where we can get access to the current state and to the value that we're gonna pass to this function. For example, my task ID. And what can I do here? Well, here I can just go through my current state and as Copilot suggests, I can filter my current array and in fact remove the task that is task ID. So here I can call delete optimistic task and pass my ID and here it will optimistically filter out my array by removing the task I actually want to remove. One extra thing worth mentioning is that if you notice here task ID is unknown and I don't really like that. So here you can actually define some types to use optimistic and we can say that the first element our tasks is the type of optimistic task and it's obviously an array. And this is the state. Now I also want to specify that my action isn't actually an action, but it will be a number. So now we know that task ID is indeed a number and we can safely say that calling delete optimistic task is a function that wants a number. Now everything is type safe and optimistic, but will it also work? Let's find out. Now, as soon as I click the X button, it will immediately click now remove the item, and even if the actual API call took a second, I can safely continue removing the item, and the feedback for the user will be instant. But if you're gonna use it that way, you will notice a warning in the console, that an optimistic state update occurred outside a transition or an action. And it wasn't there before, because in our first example with the toggle favorite, we were triggering the action inside a form. So this handled the transition automatically. 
However, in this case, we we're passing it as a prop, but it's not a real problem. The thing is that on delete is now called on a button press and not an actual form submit. For this reason, Reacts want to handle everything gracefully and you have to wrap this in a star transition. That's really the only thing you have to do. So there's nothing to worry about. We can move the async indicator here and that's really it. If we go again on the browser, we try to delete something, you will see that no error is locked. And anyway, if you're wondering what is this favorite form render? Well, there are two things to say here. One, I forgot to tell you earlier and two, let me explain. So if I remove this one and I click on the star icon, you will see that this get called twice. The first render is when I click the icon and it will optimistically update my component. And the second render is actually when the call completes and the value takes the real value coming from the backend. So here I click and you saw it printed the first immediately and the second when the call completed. Let me do it again. Three, two, one, click. And here's the second. And with that state, we can move to the third example, the actual reducer on use optimistic. Instead of using use optimistic here, I created a custom hook and let me show you. If I reset and go back to the actual state of the application, this is what I'm currently using. Basically, there's a custom hook that I will show you in a moment, which returns the optimistic task so that I can use the optimistic value and also three functions that are on add, on complete and on delete. This way I encapsulated all the logic about optimistic updates and I can safely pass my callbacks, for example, here on completed inside the start transition. Same goes for on delete and at the bottom of the form, I can also call on a task. So what is the content of our custom hook? Let's give it a look. First of all, I want to show you the types. Here we have this optimistic task that is basically our task with a pending flag that is the one I'm using here to disable the button and the text. For example, if I type again, two, three, four, you see it is disabled while it's pending and it gets enabled again when the code is completed. And if we go back on the code, this is the definition of our reducer. So I've got three actions, one add, a remove, and an update. All of them have their own payload. For example, a new task, a task ID, like in the previous example, and a partial task when I want to update only some values. So here, our use optimistic hook is again taking an array as the first element, and now the second element is not a number, is not a boolean, but it is actually the reducer. So here there is a switch, like every other reducer you might have already seen. And depending on the action, I get the type of the payload. For example, this is a task, this is a number, this is a partial task, and I can compute all the changes I want to do. For convenience, I also wrap the functions on add, on complete, and also on delete here that are handling the optimistic task and also calling the respective server action. And the advantage here is, as I shown, that outside the hook, I don't really have to care about optimistic updates at all. All I want to do is give visibility about the fact that this is an optimistic state. But the actual usage is this simple. Before closing the video though, I want to show you one final thing. Here, every time I write something and I press enter or I click add, I might want the input to clear. And I haven't found an actual automatic way to do that. So the easiest option is really creating a form ref, the reference of our form. And then right before calling our on add task action, we can reset the form. That's a tiny detail, but this might be useful for you. And that was really it. Now you have all your updates super fast. The feedback is instant and application feels way faster than it actually is. Anyway, the project I used to make this demo is Maintenance. It is an open source Next.js project and the goal which should be a tool to help you keep track of your site project. If you want to contribute, like I said, it's here on GitHub and the link is here in the description. I will continue talking about this project because I will also use it, like I did today, to create other videos about Next.js. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.